Good morning. I'm going to read from uh, Psalm 112, just two verses from the New Living Translation. The psalm starts off with, Blessed or happy are those who fear the Lord, the man, the woman. Happy are those who delight in what you command. Their children will be praises of you. An entire generation of godly people will be blessed. It's really, it's a title of the psalm. is like a triumph of faith um, for those who put their trust in you. Blessed is the man or woman who trusts in you, who fears you, who follows you. Those who delight in you will know your blessings and it will go all the way down through your family, through your family. But then it says this in verse 4 and verse 7. To the godly, those who are putting their trust in him, those who are fearing him. When darkness overtakes the godly, your light will come bursting in. Verse 7. They do not fear bad news. They are confidently trusting the Lord to care for them. As we follow him at times, not everything goes perfect. And at times darkness seems to come in and tries to overtake us, overtake our thinking. The promise is when darkness comes in, tries to overtake you. God, your light will come bursting in. I'm not sure who's watching today, but that verse is for you. You may feel like darkness is trying to overtake you, but God, the promise of your scripture, when darkness comes in, your light will not just shine or be put on. It'll come bursting through. He says, as you give to others, your generosity will come back upon you. And even when times in your life, even though in times of life you're doing this, you're being generous. It says, circumstances may not always go the way uh, you think. And sometimes we, we're just serving him. We're doing good, but we're rocked uh, by things that happen in our life. He says, even when bad news comes, those that are following him trust in Jesus. They do not fear bad news. Why? Because they are constantly trusting the Lord Jesus to care for them. Their confidence is not in themselves, but in God, in Christ Jesus. So even if bad news comes, the godly keep on being generous to those around them. They continue to influence other people in their world because their confidence is in God. Even though darkness may come, even though bad news may come, they keep on following, they keep on being good. And their influence is sometimes we are influenced by those around us or the world we live in. But it says instead of being influenced by the world or those around you, you be an influencer by the way you live, by the way you serve, by the way you give, by the way you're being generous, because you make a difference by giving, by serving, by loving. Even when things may not be perfect in your life, rain, hail or shine, our confidence is in him. So we will continue to be generous. We will continue to put our trust in you. We will continue to expect your light to come in when darkness comes. Lord, even when bad news comes, we will confidently put our trust in you and we will continually give our lives away. We will be influencers for your sake of people in our world instead of being influenced by people or by the world around about us because our trust is in you, our delight is in you, and we're following you. And so, Lord, today, give us opportunities to influence other people for good, influence them with the love of Christ Jesus, and whatever way we, we are just to share with them, help us today to be influencers of goodness, of your, your great kindness, your love of Jesus Christ in our world today as we follow you. Bless you, church.